is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. And he goes before me. He goes before me. Defender behind me. Defender behind me. So I won't fear. I won't fear. I'm filled with your anointing. Oh, thank you. My cup's overflowing. Can harm me. No weapon can harm me. And because you're right there, I have no need for fear. I won't fear. And so I can lift my hands held high and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.
solution. I can have no fear because I know you are with me, Lord. Say, He is my service this morning that on my way in I received a phone call actually it was a relative of mine who said that she's been battling so much and we all know that stress and anxiety and mental health is at an all-time high and I keep hearing that he's my comfort part and what I want to challenge you to do today church is examine what you have used as a comfort and I want you to replace that wrong thing with the God thing. Can we do that this morning? Examine what's been happening as your comfort. So some of us have been battling anxiety and depression and loss and despair. We are walking through valleys and I know, I get it. Every Sunday you come in and it feels like we're trying to say, God, put God first. You're the head and not the tail, above and not the, I get it all. And it feels like God is so far away. You're like, God, if you called me, if you're blessed me, if I'm doing all the right things, what is happening in my life? Anybody feel like that besides me? What has been happening in my life? Here's the deal. I want to encourage you this morning. Here's the deal. We appreciate the valley and the trials and the lessons that it teaches us so when we get to the mountaintop, the devil can't take it back from you. <laughs> I hope you're hearing me this morning, church. So you're going through what you're going through, not because you messed up or done anything wrong, because God wants to teach that depression. He wants to teach your anxiety. He wants to teach your lack of peace that it cannot keep you because you are never alone. If God before me, who can be against me? At the name of the Lord is a strong tower where the righteous can run in and are saved. Do I have a witness in the room this morning that can believe with me that we serve an awesome God who is the King of kings and the Lord of lords? I want you to help me sing this song. Your spirit lives on the inside of me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives. You are my victory. You're my victory. Look, your right there with you with my soul no matter what the doctor said today it is well oh hallelujah 
with my soul. Oh, thank you. That it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. Yeah. It is well, it is well with my soul. Oh. Can I tell you why, church? Cause your spirit lives within me So I will I'm trying to move on Your spirit lives within Shout my victory Shout my victory Say your spirit So I will walk in your Your spirit lives within me Jesus, you are my victory Can you sing it one time, church? Say, your spirit, your spirit Can I do one last thing? As a guest worship leader, I'm sorry I'm, I'm in Alabama, I don't have the, the right Las Vegas decorum, I'm sorry But can, can, can we do something to just give the devil a knockout real quick? Can we shout like we've never shouted before because Jesus reigns high up on the throne? Come on, everybody. Can you give God just a great shout of praise?